Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Football Thursday, Thursday, November 21st. Our update coming up, including college football free pick for tonight's action. We'll get to all that. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. Simply click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use the free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. And it comes with a DocSports guarantee. Again, all you gotta do to get started, click on on the link below the video. Great day to take advantage of this because as you know, if you've been following me on these videos, over the past four weeks, we've hit 65% against the spread with our college and pro football picks, our premium plays over at DocSports.com. We went a perfect 4-0 last Saturday in college football. We hit the big eight unit play on Sunday in the NFL. So we go into this next card red hot over the past three or four weeks now. And what we got going this weekend, not only all of our college football plays and our NFL right through Monday night. I am in Monday night football action uh, this week, uh, but you're also going to get my eight unit play in college football. 80% is our record with our football eight unit sides and regular season action since I've been at DocSports.com a couple of seasons now. 80% against the spread. So we aren't playing tonight's game that I'm about to give you, obviously, the free pick in college football, uh, but we do have all of our college football, all of our NFL right through Monday Night Football. It includes Saturday's eight unit play. Don't miss out on that. It includes a six unit play from Sunday's NFL. And uh, again, uh, we swept last week with our Big plays, college football, six unit one, NFL eight unit one. Let's rack it up. Let's do it again. All the plays in football for the entire week and through Monday will be available today, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. You'll be able to grab those plays. You'll also be able to go to the CFL, get my Grey Cup release. I've had two five unit plays in the playoffs thus far. We won them both, and uh, we look to finish off with a big win in the Grey Cup on Sunday. Obviously, everything else, college basketball will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I do have college basketball action. And I'm going to pass in the NBA. There's two games. Don't like either one of them. Uh, so we're going to make a rare pass in the NBA for Thursday. Should be right back in action on Friday. And of course, we've got an HL going on Thursday. That'll be available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. A little ticked off over last night, guys and girls, because tell you what, what happened? Man, we had the winner already in with Indiana, the Indiana Hoosiers in college basketball with a big second half getting us the win and the cover. And then we had Siena. And and we got six with Sienna. And uh, what do they do? They go to overtime. They had a one-point lead late in regulation. Guess they must have missed a free throw. It goes to overtime. And uh, next thing you know, we're in triple overtime. And with about two and a half minutes to go in the third overtime, they were tied at 83. They, uh, they just fell apart after that. We, we lost by 11. They got scored 17 to six over the final two and a half to three minutes of that third overtime. It was a real drag, obviously. Uh, so that's one where you've got the right side but the wrong result. Uh, but anyway, so we ended up splitting in college basketball uh, when it looked like we had a real nice shot at a 2-0. But we get right back into it, and uh, we've definitely updated our power ratings and feeling pretty good about that winning with Indiana and for all intents and purposes being on the right side with Siena. So college basketball will be available on Thursday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. And I mentioned what's going on in football. Don't miss out, man. 65% the last four weeks college and pro football combined. Let's get right to our free pick for Thursday night. We're looking at the battle in college between NC State and Georgia Tech. Now, NC State's four and six. Yeah, if they went out, they win their final two games, then they do uh, are eligible for a bowl game. I just don't think they're going to get it done here. It's moved a little bit towards Georgia Tech. I happen to agree with that movement. At least Georgia Tech in ACC play can deny a little bit on defense as far as passing is concerned. And this redshirt freshman, since he's taken over a quarterback for NC State, he's hitting about 46% of his passes. Uh, the Wolf Pack have become a turnover waiting to happen over the past few games. And I think Georgia Tech will get him here and continue what's been a series of domination by Georgia Tech. And I know it's a new scheme, both sides of the line of scrimmage for the Yellow Jackets this year and different head coach, different coaching. I know all about that. I, I get it. But the bottom line is I think the domination in this series will continue. Just don't like this NC State attack. 
not with this current quarterback who can't complete 50% of his passes. And again, they're turning the ball over too much for my blood. So our free pick, we look to get back in the win column, start a new win streak. Georgia Tech minus a couple of the points in college football. And again, don't forget, we've got all of our plays posted in football for the entire week in college and pro right through Monday Night Football post today, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, DocSports.com. And it's all led by my eight unit play in this weekend's college football. Go grab it on Thursday over at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column on Thursday, right back here Friday morning after 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, or right around there. I know we're late on Thursday, uh, but we couldn't help that. We were doing a bunch of college basketball work, uh, but back by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific on Friday. And again, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Talk to you again Friday morning.